Rob here from You Know Media. In this video, we're going to be looking at the menu anchor element in Elementor, so stay tuned. At You Know Media, we help companies to grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and marketing techniques. From websites to online marketing, automated sales funnels, social media, and much more. We're always releasing new content on our YouTube channel, so make sure you click the like, subscribe, and notification button to make sure that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to tell you about an exclusive offer we have on at the moment. We're giving away free access to our paid Hub You Know platform to the first 50 people that click the link in the description. We're going to be putting this link in the description of all of our videos, so make sure that you get in there as quick as you can. Within Hub you know, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on how to build a website using Elementor. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click the link in the description. Let's get on with the video. Hello, in this video, we are gonna be talking about the menu anchor element in Elementor. So first of all, what is a menu anchor? So a menu anchor allows us to be able to put an anchor ID somewhere or anywhere on the page. By setting up an anchor ID somewhere on the page, we're then able to send visitors directly to that particular section by clicking a link. And I will show you an example now and how we can set that up. So I already have a button here on the web page. This website is uh, one of Elementor's templates for a sort of a coffee house um, restaurant. So what I want is when I click this button, I don't want it to go to a page, I wanted to go somewhere specific on this current page. In this case, I wanted to go to this sweets collection part. So to do this, I'm going to go over to our elemental elements. I'm going to type in menu and we should have menu anchor. And we're going to drag that and drop that just above our heading here. In here, I'm just going to type in collection and that will be the anchor ID that we want. Note that the ID link only accepts these characters, A to Z in uppercase, A to Z lowercase, zero to nine, underscore and dash. So our button isn't going to link or send us straight down to this area yet. We're gonna go back up to our button now. We're gonna click on the blue button to edit it. And in the link, what we want to put is this hashtag and then our anchor ID, which is collection. Now we can see when we click, it will take us down to this section. This is really useful when you have a one page website and the nav bar says something like about services and contact in one bar. You can send people down the page rather than send them to other pages. Um, that's of course, if you want a one page website. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna show you how we can put a menu anchor into our nav bar as well. So what I need to do is I need to edit this menu and I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to click update and we're going to jump over to the menu settings in the WordPress dashboard. So we are now in the menu settings of the dashboard. I'm going to go to custom links. Again, I'm going to put in hashtag collection the link text is going to be collection and then I'm going to click add to menu. We can see that that's now added to our menu and we have to click save. Now let's jump back to our page. We can now see in our header that the button collection has been added to the menu. And if we click that, it will take us down to our section. That's really as simple as it is when it comes to menu anchors. You can get a little bit more complex by putting URLs in, then slash, and put in a hashtag anchor ID. But this is the basics of it. Uh, it's a really great tool, makes it really easy to navigate through single page websites. Um, so have a little experiment with those. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.